Hello, everybody, and welcome to a very special presentation. We have none other than Artosa starting in the upper right corner as the pink turn. Bottom right, we have Hawk starting as the red Zerg. And I am calling this a uh, BSL 15 what if. If you guys follow Artosis and BSL, you will know that he caught COVID and therefore had to drop out of the group stages of BSL 15, which was a really sad day for me because I really wanted to see these two guys play in particular. Hawk absolutely decimated multiple Protoss contenders to go all the way to the championship. And then on the opposite side, we saw Artosis not too long ago completely crush a lot of Protoss players. So it is very, very likely that they would have faced off against one another. And I will say unabashedly, this is my attempt to get you guys to watch BSL coming up. Hawk will be in the lower bracket alongside Quark on the opposite side, depending on who exits this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. And I believe they are playing, Hawk is playing again on the 17th. Hawk is a fantastic player. He is the epitome of a defensive Zerg. However, Artosis, I would argue that his strongest matchup is against Zerg. He just seems to have a knack for it. And on top of that, I think he really likes playing against the defensive Zerg playstyle. So we'll see how it plays out. This is definitely going to be a test of his skill. Butter, a good map to start off on. Tends to be I think it's about 50% as far as the win rate. Artosa sending that initial scout out. Hawk opening up with the 12 hatchery. One thing for Hawk is he is one of those players that's extremely intelligent. He will adjust his build order as things play out. So I would not be shocked knowing that... And here's the question. Are we going to see ladder Artosis or are we going to see tournament Artosis? Tournament Artosis can pull out absolutely anything. Proxy racks, factory play, anything. Ladder Artosis, more typically than not, will end up uh, going for really basic two racks academy play. Two racks academy play, I expect Hawk to go a little bit more aggressive with Mutalisks to open. No gas as of yet for Hawk. A little bit delayed on this, and I'm wondering if he's going to open up immediately with a third hatchery. Spawning pool about halfway finished. In the meantime, Artosis has his initial marine out. We'll be able to engage that drone and send it home. Artosa, seeing the 12th hatch, is going to open straight up to a command center on top of the nice grass features. And it looks like it's going to be an in-base third hatchery and extractor for Hawk. A little bit of an adjustment on what I've seen of the higher meta play these days. And I'm curious if Artosa is going to open up with what has been the stereotypical response to this, which is... Five racks plus one weapons, which a lot of people have considered just the straight counter to any sort of opening three hatch play. Hawk down mining gas with the three hatch opener and that delaying gas. That means mutalisks are going to come out somewhat later. Initial two zerglings produced to go ahead and try to take care of this SCV scout. And so, actually, seeing of how things lined up and knowing that Artosis. I think he's comfortable going to that five racks plus one play. I would not be shocked to see Artosis potentially take initial game. Lair, now morphing. SEV scouts all of it. Engineering Bay plopping down before Academy, which suggests we are potentially going to a quick plus one. No bunker on the front, as this SEV has been able to keep a pretty good eye on the larva production and make sure that it is drones being produced. SEV finally taken out as that third hatchery just completing. Second gas dropping for Hawk. I'm almost wondering if we're going to see some sort of fun adjustment play. Is he going to open up Lurk or something crazy like that? I almost want to see it. Getting extra gas, which means if he does opt for, and I assume we're going to see Mutalis play, if we are going to see Mutalis play, that means he is going to have second gas to be able to just stream Mutalis south. And it is possible, knowing his strong Mutalist Micro, that he just wants to win it in a dominating fashion in that regard. Academy, building the upper right in corner for Otosis. Zerglings pressing forward. Here's the other thing. Really critical that Artosis had that scout for such a long period of time and didn't need to drop that bunker because one weakness of this build order is Zergling floods early on. But Artosis is able to produce sufficient Marines where he's really not concerned 
about a mass Zergling opener here. There's the Spire. Plop down. Academy finishing up plus one weapons cycling. So you can see with the blinkage. Zergling's able to peek the corner, get a good look at the saturation, thinking about going maybe all the way around to get additional scouting information. Another drone cycling out for Hawk to go ahead and grab his expansion at the six o'clock location. So stereotypically, you see the Milos out at the 6.30 mark, bunker also being added to buy that extra time and extra padding just in case Zerglings were running alongside. First two barracks down. And we see Stim upgrading as well. Comsat station also being built for Artosis. Let's see if he Comsats. I assume he's going to expect the six o'clock location. It's more typical for Zerg to go for that expansion rather than expanding towards their Terran opponent these days. Some Zerg even has been as risky with the Mutalisk opening. Vision drops. Artosis gets a good look at the Spire. Practically, he sees the stage of it, knows the finishing time. Already has the medics alongside, and we do see it is going to be that five barracks response with the plus one weapons. Now, my question is, is can Hawk defend it with Mutalisk Micro alone? It looks like we have nine Mutalisks going to take flight. Now, here's the thing. Hawk's Mutalis Micro is brutally, brutally strong. Brutally, brutally strong. It is one of the things that... When I think of top Mutalis Micro in the North American scene, it is him crossing Striker, and I think he has the strongest of those players. Turret's going up defensively in the corners for that 630 mark. The Mutalis taking flight. And they're going to have their work cut out for them because there is going to be a stream of Marines with plus one weapons in not too long from now. Decent turret coverage, one over the barracks just to prevent knockdown there. Four Zerglings alongside. This can be make or break. Free shot right there, finding the initial turret. The Marines already in position to engage, pre-stimming. Draining a little bit of energy, maybe a little bit of a, a hasty stim right there. Plus one weapons has come online, which means these Mutalists could be very, very soft. Nothing in the bunker, and no second gas as of yet. Hawk finding that turret in that back corner, able to get an SCV kill already. Two SCV kills, drawing the Marines back. Able to get two Marine kills with this flock. Ten Mutalisks. Loses one with that last grouping, but third gas is up for Hawk. Already making his way towards that Queen's Nest. Hydelsten is up to make a, pot a potential transition into Lurker, should it be needed. But here's the thing. Sometimes Hawk won't even need it, but here, Artosis starting to move out. Zergling's getting cleared out. Big Medic Marine Ball careening towards the front. We already have one Sunken Colony in place. We'll see if that will be sufficient. A Creep Colony being dropped to the 6 o'clock location. Artosis, if he gets a move on, might be able to harass this. Hawk trying to abuse the high ground mid-map. Picks off three Marines in flight. Trying to slow Artosis down. Creep Sunken Colony is going to be just in time. But it is only a single Sutton Colony. Hawk pressuring the corner, looking again, hugging that edge. Sutton Colony's not here. Three Lurkers have not yet morphed. The Mule is trying to buy them time. Zergling's coming in from the rear. One Mule is down. The Sutton Colony's down. And it looks like with that, Hawk putting up a fantastic defense. Picking off every single Marine with these Mule like a scalp of the Lurkers. Going to drop otherwise, and that is Hawk in a nutshell. Perfect defenses. A medic was able to slip through the lines, but it's one of those things where it's like, is he barely holding, or was that calculated? Artosis being sent back home, so the five racks plus one weapons being rejected, and Hawk with that razor thin defense already at hive. Starport being added on for Artosis, factory up. Double starport. Plus one armor, no second engineering bay as of yet. A lot of players at this situation, once they get those initial science vessels out, 
will sometimes follow up with battle cruiser science or something along those lines. Artosis needs his science vessels potentially just to survive and is opting for the double starport option. Science facility coming online in the background. However, Nidus canals are already being placed for Hawk. Defiler Mound is already on the way, and this is usually where Terran wants to be in a situation where they can be pressing that third. Mutilus is taking some additional damage along that corner. It looks like, I believe, Hawk skipped upgrades, which was 100 more gas pocketed towards that Tier 3 tech. Another grouping of Benic Marines now out in sufficient numbers, potentially, to give some Artos to give Artosa some presence on the map. Second Engineering Bay dropping and initial science vessels now taking the field. The Mutilus mostly being utilized for scouting at this stage. They can pick off Marines in small numbers. As stragglers looking to cut off reinforcements and oh, Artosis making a slight blunder here. A lot of medics separated, several of them getting taken out and those are core units to lose. So Hawk getting the free vulture damage, usually something you associate with Terran rather than Zerg. First Defiler already taking the field. This is usually the stage of the game where in Artosis's standard ZV, TVZ, I should say, he likes setting up and just irradiating those units to try to keep Zerg in a deficit and just applying pressure from there. At this scenario, he's going to have a bit of trouble potentially grabbing his third base. Might be on the defensive, and you can't give Hawk this much breathing room because he will punish you for it. Science Vessel out. Overlord just barely escapes. Mutalisks pecking away at the second science vessel as it's fielded. But now Artosis needs to apply some pressure somewhere out in the map before Hawk is able to turn on the gas. A few Zerglings taking a bit of free damage. Looking at the saturation across each base, Hawk looks pretty well saturated. Looks like he's pumped a lot of drones. Science Vessel leading, looking to drop and irradiate. Not sure if they're lacking energy or the research just isn't quite there yet. Maybe just trying to bait the Mutalisks back and save energy. Just wasn't researched yet. Double irradiate dropped. That will eliminate Mutalisks from this equation as there's only four remaining and one of them highly damaged. Hawk trying to get a little bit of, of additional damage there. Double dropship looks like it is going to follow. So Artosis being very, very diligent in trying to clear out those Mutalisks as that would be the one thing that could stymie this, this triple dropship attack. This dropship attack is going to be absolutely vital for Artosis. Hawk does have two lurkers in the main, but this is going to be three dropships. You can see the Mutalisks already pressing back. The bottom left-hand corner, you already have some Hydralisks and Lurkers that look like they're in a better position to provide that defense. But Artosis needs to strike some damage to slow Hawk down. Supplies are looking dangerously close. Lurkers and Hydralisks grouping up in the middle. Plague has been researched. Decent damage on those Medic Marine forces. Artosis trying to create a distraction force. However, an Overlord has spotted the dropships as they're making their way right. Mutalists are there. Lurkers are not yet dropped. Hawk may be distracted. So the unit's unloading. The Mutalists are gone. Zerglings trying to make their way back. They may have adrenal upgrades, but only have plus one carapace. That gas is going to be starved out. So Hawk able to get some, or sorry, Artosis able to get some good damage done here. Losing both lurkers, and he still has a huge medic marine problem in his base. Defiler mounds exposed. Plague is dropped. But is he going to get the Defiler Mount? It's going to be close. 30 health gets it. The Defiler Mount down. Artosis finding purchase in this map that's going to give Hawk pause for thought. He's going to need to reestablish that third gas, get that Defiler Mount back down, and needs to play much, much more cautiously, especially with Science Vessels in play. But he did expend a lot of troops in that effort, was able to pull dropships out. Now checking, making sure there wasn't additional bases out in the field. Hawk going ahead and going to try to expand to the lower 9 o'clock location. Hawk, however, despite actually going to double expand behind this, so moving up to the 3 o'clock location as well with the drone. 
Some fire bats mixed into Artosis' army. Hawk, just a macro beast. 10 supply ahead. The science vessel count cut a little bit short comparatively to fill in for those dropships. Science vessels find the expansion going up. Two lurkers will be irradiated. The dropship, a feint here to try to pull units back. Defiler exposed, gets picked off. That means no Dark Swarm on the front. Zerglings coming in from the right-hand corner. Science Vessel's now in position to provide detection against the Lurkers. The Lurkers being forced to back off. Now, keep in mind, Hawk does not have a Defiler mount to replenish these troops, so he's going to have to get it done with Tier 1 units, potentially. Looks like Artosis is going to take a win and go ahead. Ooh. Unfortunately, those units lining up just precisely to get wiped out. There was one latent Defiler to go ahead and defend the main. It's going to force a cancellation at the 3 o'clock. However, that lower 9 o'clock still coming online. Gas has been reestablished. Defiler Mound is back up. Artosis has gotten his third base up at the upper 3 o'clock location. But he's going to have to worry about Hawk pressing these locations. Level 2 Carapace. Level 1 Weapons. Which suggests we are going to see a larger role for the Hydralisks, which really pressures that lower science vessel count. Medic Marines being cleared out of that 3 o'clock location. Hawk is absolutely one of those players who lives by the motto, when you're ahead, get further ahead. Small trooping, it looks like there was a scan at the lower 9. Some irradiates dropped to apply pressure. No Nidus Canal here yet. Huge fleet of science vessels grouped up. Defiler having to drop its own defense, but gets wiped out by the lone fire bat at location. So Hawk potentially going to lose this base. Hydralis pressing up, engaging medic marine forces without defiler plague support. But he needs, Artosis needs to be very careful with the science vessel count. He is going to be able to take out this nine o'clock base potentially. Reinforcements coming in, shield battery. Is he going to focus fire the hatchery? Looks like he's being drawn back to engage the Hydralisks as there's a counterattack on the front. So Hydralisks distracting briefly. Is that going to be sufficient for Hawk to go ahead and save that 9 o'clock defense matrix on the Ford Marine? Zergling scattering up and with the distractionary attack and defilers at Artosis' natural expansion, Hawk defends the lower 9 o'clock base. For Artosis, he does have a sufficient science vessel count. But he's back in supply. A critical fourth gas and fifth gas shortly will be online for Hawk. Hunting to see if we have an Ultralis Cavern anywhere out on the field. It is possible we're not going to see that transition and it's just going to be all plague Hydralis play from here. Hawk capable of playing a multitude of styles. Seen him go queens in mass multiple times as well. Artosis already planning command center has left it idle. Level 2 weapons, level 2 armor. Unfortunately for him, level 2 weapons, level 2 armor. Hawk even on upgrades. Zerglings grouping up midfield. Zerglings dying in small numbers, but Hawk all of a sudden has surged ahead in the supply count, which is usually a strong indicator that things are looking scary for Terran. Dark Swarm mid-map, plague to follow, which means those adrenal upgraded Zerglings are on the hunt. Able to get additional pickoffs. Third base still remaining, sorry, fourth base still remaining idle for Artosis. He does have that upper three o'clock location up in mining. Dropship looks like I missed a drop. The lower 9 o'clock. I don't think it capitalized on anything. I'm not even sure if there's units in that. Five health left. Took some severe damage as it's making its way across. Big plague on the science vessels. And you can see, yeah. Once you land that plague with those hydralisks able to move in position, they can just feast. Pick off multiple units rather rapidly. And that is a lot of gas for Artosis to lose. He's going to take another shot. At the lower 9 o'clock location, Nidus Canal is not here. There is a spore colony and several lurkers, though. 
units moving up, waiting for Artosis to engage. Stimming, unfortunately attacking one latent lurker on the corner. Hawk waiting for those units to, to overcommit and pin them in and wipe them out. Brutal decimation of that army. And at the moment, Artosis has no map control. He's going to have to rely on some sort of sneaky drop to catch Hawk off guard to slow his economy down. Ultralis Cavern is now in play. And Hawk is starting to bank a large amount of minerals. Keep in mind the Carapace upgrade is already at plus three, which means those Ultralisks are going to be extremely strong when they take the field. Dropships moving along the right-hand side of the map, comps adding the bulk of Hawk's army. Hawk pecking away as the units going across that right-hand side. Looks like they're going to move back and re-engage the drop landing. Spore Colony wailing away. A Zergling and Lurkers making short work of that drop. Artosis finding nothing. Re-engaging a Science Vessel down midfield. And you can see the Hydralists prioritizing the Science Vessels in the Swarm, allowing the Zerglings to chase down the Medic Marine Force afterwards. Pressing up, Artosis needs to get these Science Vessels out of here. 164 supply to 113 feet. Things looking dire for our Terran hero. Medic Marines, level three weapons, level two armor. Upper three o'clock base being grabbed by Hawk. Artosis' main mind out, his natural expansion is light, which means he's gonna be heavily reliant on this three o'clock base and might wanna think about taking yet another expansion. Additional Dark Swarms being dropped. Additional Radiates plopping down, catching those heavy gas units. Try to chew into Hawk's gas reserves. However, Hawk is not that far away from being at six gas Zerg. And the more gas you have, the more intimidating Zerg becomes. Ultralisks taking the field. Science vessels, fire bats, medics sweeping around to the nine o'clock location. They'll be hard pressed, honestly, to breach what's there. They might need to get back to home base just to keep Artosis in this match. Ultralis streaming along that right hand side, a handful of Hydralisks being interrupted and engaging, and Hawk wholesale diving into the natural expansion. Troops sweeping around the left hand side to rejoin some Ultralis with the Radiate pile driving into the Medic Marine Force mid-map. The Ultralisks also styming what would have been potentially that fourth command center. Medic Marines breach irradiated Ultralisks sitting in that natural expansion. And more red streaming across the map. Hawk smelling blood in the water. Pile driving units forward. Treating Zerglings like bullets, as they should be. Zerglings now moving up to this critical 3 o'clock base. Potentially might force to lift off. And honestly, that might be the GG moment. Things looking dire as it is. 9 o'clock base, pure being taken by Hawk. And there's GG from Artosis. Well played. Game 1 goes to Hawk.